So I'm going to show you how to make a really amazing Thai inspired paste and with this we're going to make two different dishes and I'm going to show you how having one thing can really transform a number of different dishes in a really beautiful way. Um, we're going to do a crab and potato salad. Um, it's more like a meal to be honest, it's quite substantial um, and loads and loads of flavour so you can have it like just for your dinner or your lunch or whatever. And we're going to do a quinoa and bulgur wheat uh, dish with stir fried soy cabbage uh, mange tooth and peas and we're going to use this um, paste to bring it all together so we're going to have uh, coriander ginger here garlic and chili but that we will get to at the moment we're going to stir fry some of our peas our mange tooth and our savoy cabbage for that salad so that's been on the heat okay and then they go just like that and at the same time you can put in your savoy cabbage, so I have it shredded up really, really nicely. Okay, so that goes in there, get the heat up really, really high, and that can carry on in the background stir frying. You want it to be really quick, you want to keep the colour, keep the crunch, and keep the nutrition as much as possible. Um, I found this in Waitrose, which I think is an absolutely amazing thing to have in your store cupboard. It's a mixture of red and white quinoa with bulgur wheat. It takes 12 minutes to cook, and when you cook it, it looks something a little bit like this. It's so beautiful and the flavour in it is really, really, really substantial. And as well, you've got lots of texture in there and it's a really good base for a really, really, really nice salad, dish, whatever you want to call it. It's like it's quite substantial, so it kind of it's on the borderline between being a salad and being a dish or being a meal. Okay, so this is going really nicely in the background. What you want to do with this is get a bit of salt in there, not too much, just enough to flavour it. And while that is cooking, we are going to make our paste. So this is so simple. One of these little handheld blenders will serve you so well, trust me. Um, in there, I'm gonna put 50 grams of ginger, two big garlic cloves, and half a chili, okay? And I'm gonna blend this all together first, just to get it going. So, break it all down so it'll really go through the dish really evenly, okay? Almost there. Give it a shake around. Okay, the smell, the aromas that come off of that are just so amazing. And then, straight away, just put in all of this coriander, okay? To this, we're gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce in there. Well, let's do two, actually. Give it a bit of flavor. Again, it's quite salty, so beware when you come to seasoning it at the very end. We're gonna do a nice two tablespoons of olive oil and we're gonna put in the juice of a whole lime, okay? And that is the basis of your paste, okay? While that's there, just give your vegetables a bit of a flip, they're coming along really nicely. We'll put this back on here, and mix it again. You probably need to shake it around a bit. Careful not to let the lid fall off. That's not gonna be fun. You can smell that, it's really beautiful. It's all kind of greens and light browns and reds in there. And that is the basis of your paste. The flavor in there is just so massive, okay? This is ready, finished, completely done. Let's move this to one side, okay? And we've got the bulgur wheat here, so this is gonna be a hot dish. So I'm just gonna put this in here with all of that, okay? Again, move it all around really nicely. Let's get a wooden spoon in at this and you'll see all the beautiful colour in that dish just really really lovely and then this is literally as simple as let's just try this perfect really fragrant really a little bit spicy but not too spicy which is what you want and a nice heat tablespoon in there Depends on your taste how much you put in, depending on how spicy you like it, how fragrant you like it, it's completely up to you. Okay, I'm going to put in a tiny bit more because it's quite nice to have it dressed quite liberally and have a bit of moist kind of texture in there. Okay, so that's, that's that first dish done and I wish you could smell how amazing that is coming out of there. So we're going to put that aside for the moment and we're going to move on to our second dish. Uh, let me see, what do I need? I need this. Okay, our second dish is baby potatoes. 
just like this, already cooked and halved, in they go. The secret of baby potatoes is to boil them in loads and loads of salt so that the potatoes take on the essence of the salt and the essence of the seasoning. They won't taste massively salty, they'll just have an element of flavour to them, which is really important. Um, I've got peas again, nice 50 grams worth of peas. And here you will see I have this beautiful, beautiful dressed crab, okay? And I'm going to take away these, okay? And I'm left with the brown meat in the middle, which I'm going to put through my potato salad. So this is almost going to essentially dress my salad, along with this dressing that we have here. So a nice heat tablespoon of that goes in there, okay? And we all know that things like chilli and ginger are really nice flavour combinations with crab. And mix that in really well and again the flavours just really start to soar up out of the bowl. Okay, so that there and then we're going to put some coriander in there just to get a bit of colour. Okay, so they, there we are, those two dishes are completely done, completely finished. Apart from all we need to do is plate up, which is the easiest part. So, with this, this is really hot, really piping, piping hot. And there's so much goodness in here, so much nutrition. And the thing is, it's so substantial, you'll feel really full after this. And just serve it on a plate like that. If you're having guests, serve it in a massive big bowl. If you want it for lunch, just bring it in a lunchbox. Perfect, perfect, perfect. A little bit of Greek yogurt with some mint would be really nice with this, if you had it to hand. So that's that dish done. And then, our next dish is our potato salad and this again is really substantial, so healthy, really filling and who doesn't love a bit of crab meat, it's just such an indulgence. If you have a fishmonger's really just use it to the best of your advantage. So that's there and then all we need to do with this is finish it off with two little crab claws and I'm going to get some of the white meat here and I'm just going to flake it over, just like that. And that's it, completely finished. So there we have seven minutes, 24 seconds of the video, and it's two dishes, two amazingly tasty, healthy, gorgeous dishes all in one. So try them out and really just enjoy them. They're so fun making these and even more fun to, more fun to eat.